Hi there. Today you're going to learn how to configure your media device with PlayOn. Also, in our second part, watch US TV on a WD TV Live outside the US on a VPN. Let's get started. All right, checklist. This can be displayed on either your PC or media device. It's extremely fast and easy once you understand how it all works. You'll need a media box like a WD TV Live, Xbox 360, Play PlayStation 3, or any other device. Obviously, an internet connection to your chosen media box, software, play on, and of course, a VPN. Program channel list, Hulu, Netflix, CBS, Comedy Central, and many more channels. Uh, regarding Hulu, it is free, so you won't need a paid account. Um, you can access ABC, CBS, um, Fox, and just a wide range of TV shows. With Netflix, you do need a paid US account. You can get around it if you know how to do it. Um, so that's something to think about later on down the road. And Comedy Central uh, you know, offers also a, a lot of TV shows which you don't need an account for. Uh, MLB and NHL you do need to actually have paid accounts for. But again, um, other TV shows or stations like PBS and Vivo, Pandora, um, those are all basically free. Okay? But again, Hulu, by far one of the best. You're going to get all your favorite TV shows from Hulu. Okay, moving on. Uh, step one, uh, play on .tv's media server. Your media server will be the software you'll need to stream the content to your home TV or smartphone. Yes, smartphone, this does work with, um, you just need the app. From the app store you install it and it's really easy and uh, install onto your home pc all right you need to go to www.playon.tv and once you get to that page we're going to show you exactly how to get this thing installed onto your home pc right now okay welcome to playon.tv now as you can clearly see, it says you can watch Netflix, Hulu, CBS, YouTube, and more right on your TV. It's that simple. What you do is you just come on down here to the download free trial button. And you install the 14 day trial. Now it is a trial period of 14 days, which is pretty good. That gives you time to figure out if this media server is for you or if the software is for you. I did the 14 days and immediately after that thought it was a no-brainer because I was able to watch all this awesome TV on my iPhone, uh, my uh, PC, and my regular home TV. So it's $39 for one year and then after that you're looking at $19.95 for each additional year. Um, so it's something to think about. Give the 14-day trial a, a chance. See if you like it and if it's not for you, hey, no harm done, right? What you do, just come on down, download the free 14-day trial button, and you just basically install it. And there it is on my Google Chrome there. I just hit save and go through the usual instructions of installing it. It's that simple. Now, I'm not going to actually go through the steps of installing it because I've already got it here on my home PC. I'm going to come on down here to my toolbar and double-click. <clears throat> okay, and this is what it looks like. Currently, my media server is running. Let me turn that off. All right, so let's go over this part. I think this is one of the most important things that you need to know about, the video performance. Now, for me, I am always using a VPN because I want to watch Hulu, and if I set this to maximum, the video quality tends to stop and go because my internet speed drops. And so I found the best way is to put this to medium and then the video doesn't stop and go. Now it's going to depend where you are and how fast your internet speed is. So that's something you're going to have to learn how to play with. But basically, you know, you want to go between medium and max. Okay, so something you got to learn there. Um, for a system check, what you do is, this is pretty important part too actually. You hit the test button and it'll tell you how fast your internet speed is to stream the media. Now it says here you need 1.5 to 2 megabytes of consistent broadband speed and that will depend for me whether or not my VPN and my band, uh, broadband is fluctuating and the time of the day. 
Um, right now it's 12 o'clock here in Japan, so it's not too busy. And there you go, medium. Um, sometimes in later on in the evening, it'll actually go up to max. And so it really depends on the time of the day and how busy things are, okay? Um, you can also do a um, CPU performance check to see whether or not your computer can actually handle the streaming and all the, you know, media server performance and all that kind of stuff. Um, all right, moving on next, uh, these are the channels. Now, regarding the channels, um, what you got to do is for Netflix, you have to have a paid account, okay? So you have to input your email and password and hit the test button and it will work It will work right after that. Hulu, you don't have to make an account with. You could actually do it for free. But what I do is I make playlists on Hulu.com and then I make you know my favorite playlists and then I can access them much easier than having to go through all the menus. Uh, Amazon, v, Amazon VOD and lots of these other ones are actually paid. So that's something you'll have to decide on if you want to have like something like a Major League Baseball account and I guess you'd be able to watch all the games from there. Um, YouTube, CBS, Comedy Central, all these other ones, these are all basically free. Uh, one of the best ones for me is the PBS Kids. They have a lot of awesome TV shows for my little one. And Vivo, that's really cool. You can watch music videos of what's hot. Uh, I was just watching the new Black Eyed Peas video and pretty cool stuff. Now plugins, this is a really interesting part. Um, what you do for the plugins is on the Play On website, they'll show you all the different websites you can get the plugins for, and then you just install these into your C program files Play On folder, and then what you do is when you put these plugins in, you come on over here, and then you can see all of your new plugins that you've installed. Now as you can see, I've got Discovery Channel, National Geographic, Playhouse, Disney, and this new one just came out actually today, Revision 3. And um, yeah, and once you install those, you can get lots of other channels to access from. Okay, so that's something really neat that they just came out with uh, quite recently, I believe. And this is the mobile access. So if you'd like to enable this on your iPhone or iPad or any other smart mobile device, uh, what you do is you just get the app. And then once you install the app from the App Store, you just basically turn it on and it instantly will access um, this media server with your iPhone. It's just like having a little TV. Okay, so once you get this all running, you just hit the test button. Mine's actually not turned on right now, but when I do, this will actually, this will all work perfect. And registration, that's if you decide to purchase this after the 14 days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to general settings. I'm going to hit start. This takes a few seconds and boom, it should turn green any second. There we go, excellent. The media server has now been turned on and it'll work on the TV or iPhone or whatever device you're using. You come over here, mobile device, hit test. There you go, perfect, passed. It's showing all my IPs and everything's perfect. Uh, for me, I just use the enable mo mobile access and then I'm using manual port 54. Um, that's because I'm using the VPN and they say you need to be on port 54. So that's something to think about. Okay, so that's basically it for the media server. At this point, you'll be ready to go. There's not much else configuration. There's actually no other configuration to do. It's ready to go. Um, the next part of my video, I'm going to show you how to install a VPN and to get this working if you're outside of the US. And I'm going to show you a live demo of the VPN and all of this working together. Okay, let's move on, part two.